Welcome to the April 20th, 2020 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, President McGowan Group and your financial weatherman with your fast-paced weekly tour of the global financial markets that turns into investment strategy discussion designed to help you achieve record profits, record forward income, and to navigate properly with great assets. The crisis of 2020, a nearly unpredictable crisis that unfolded with a huge decline in the Dow. This was 40% peak to trough, almost 40%. The Dow low, 18,200. Why is that important? This week we rallied to 24,000, 6,000 points up. That's down nearly 40%, up about 33%. If we do the math on that, it's still a minus 20 or so uh, for the equity-based portfolios and other categories. So what's the right strategy at this point? Well, the Dow futures each morning when I do the market reports on WBAP and KLIF, one of the things that I key from is this number. Right now, the futures appear to be trading from the number of daily new cases in the United States. About 1% of the population, 3.6 million, has been tested and it's been about 30,000 cases a day, 35,000 here, and we did drop as low as 25,000. That's the number of new daily confirmed cases. One curious number, the number of recovered cases, about 35,000 or so, that is only about 4 or 5 percent of the total number of people that have the virus confirmed. But the rest of the world has about a 20 percent recovery rate, four or five times those as a percentage, those that are actually declared recovered. So what is lagging in the U.S.? Well, part of it is declaring people recovered. And this week, the news of not just reopening, but also when we look at the news reports to say herd immunity is going to be a big topic saying there's a certain percentage of the population, maybe as high as 50%, that may have had it or have immunity. The antibody tests are actually now available. And we talk about that on this weekend's program at NetworthRadio.com. Having navigated the crisis of 2002, the tech wreck after 9-11, and the 08 crisis, which was a near depression if you look at the banking system, well, the recoveries from those, the secret may lie in looking at forward income and something more reliable than an equity recovery, which the peak to peak of the S&P 500 and the Dow was about four years from 2007 through about 2011. What recovered faster? What was more reliable? What can keep people retired? Well, we're gonna take a look at a few other categories here. These are treasury bonds. This really doesn't get you retired because the T-bill is 0.1% this week. And if you go 10 years on a treasury, less than two thirds of a percent. Go 30 years, it's 1.2% with huge duration risk. That means most fixed income portfolios would be better off in cash, even though the May rate would be zero. If you're ultra conservative, that may be the best starting point. There's two other categories, floating rate loans or floating rate loan funds and high yield, well-managed bond portfolios. So well-managed high yield is the focus for this week's program. I wanna give you something that the Fed did and the Fed Relief Program. What does the stimulus mean? What does Fed action mean? I'll show you what that is likely telegraphed from this chart. Now, this is a basket of B-rated corporate bonds. Most corporations and people are on the B team. The investment grade is the A team. Now, this is the category that we use to recover to record profits back in 2009 in about nine months for our group of clients. We reinvested and accumulated great well-managed baskets of reliable loans and bonds. But the pricing of those went from par down to a low 
of about six, 61% of par value. That actually would imply 39% are gonna default. It didn't even happen in 2008 in that extended Great Recession. You can see the very quick recovery. Bonds tend to go back to par. That's about 95 by 2012. And here recently, what was built in by the high yield index was a 30% default rate. The default rate back there ended up being only about 10%. But the Fed's already taken action. And this spike that you see right here, Federal Reserve said, hey, we'll buy corporate loans and bonds too to infuse liquidity. The banks, and this is inside intelligence from one of the major banks, commercial lending officer here in Texas, that this week when I was talking to him, he said, what are you guys, I asked him, what are you guys doing? What are you seeing? He said, you know, everybody made their April 1st payment. Lots of people didn't pay rent because they figured they didn't have to at the lower levels. He said, really, we've had no, no defaults and we've been instructed to call our best customers and see if they need an accommodation to prevent a technical default. The banking system has plenty of capital to extend this, to accommodate and to prevent a mass set of defaults as the recovery is scheduled. So how do you take advantage of that? Well, we're gonna look at a similar time period. This is the five years during the crisis back here. We looked at the high yield bond portfolios, both global and domestic. And we said, okay, here's the start. Here's a big discount in pricing, not dissimilar to the decrease in equity values over that time, but a basket of loans and bonds have first claim on a corporation. JC Penney tragically defaulted on a bond payment this week. The equity's worthless, the bondholders get the company, they have first claim, which is called recovery. And it also means if you were gonna speculate in something like that, you'd be better off buying uh, the bonds of a defaulted company than, than speculating on the equity, which is technically worthless. So bonds are first in line. That's this message. You reinvest for five years through the crisis. You can see the lows there. And what did you end up with a total return? Well, the global, in this example, was 14% average return with reinvestment. The uh, high yield domestic example of a well-managed portfolio, well, that was near 10% uh, at the end of five years. And you got paid along the way. That's one of the strategies that's a core strategy for recovery. And of course, adding some blue chip dividends, especially in medical, that's been our focus the past few weeks. If you wanna update your plan and potentially get to record income and record profits, it's a great time to update your plan with McGowan Group Asset Management. Just go to networthradio.com. You'll also find the more detailed program. Thank you for joining us here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe for updates in fast-breaking markets. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. I'm Spencer McGowan, President of McGowan Group, your financial weatherman. We sponsor each week NetworthRadio.com broadcast. That has the charts and graphs, many of which you saw today. We also sponsor this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe for fast breaking news, an alert when we post something in a market condition that may have changed. Our goal is to help you as an investor make the right decisions at the right time. And that's part of what this YouTube channel is about as well as NetworthRadio.com. I am well served with a team of 10 people including myself and that team that cares is actually made up of people who devoted to your net profits and your success as well as excellence in service. If you want an educational experience to follow this up, get to networthradio.com, themcgowangroup.com. Right here, we disclose our net client experience all the way back to 2001. What that includes, the bear market cycles of 02, 08, 2018, and the recoveries through the most recent quarter. That 
is true education of investors and exactly how our clients have done disclosed right here. Further disclosures, value at risk of loss. Yes, investments are going to fluctuate. That's part of the reason for this broadcast and that can actually work to your advantage. We'll build that into your plan. So I urge you to go to networthradio.com, fill out the preliminary client questionnaire, a free one hour brainstorming session by phone or at the Crescent in Dallas, and we will map out a multi-year plan for you and your family that's appropriate. Just because we talk about a security on this broadcast or any securities doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until you have that written plan. Thank you for tuning in today and we'll be back next week as your financial weatherman.